Hello, dear traders, you're watching Financial News on the Forex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. On Friday, the pound sterling approached a three and a half week high against the US dollar. The American currency is facing lower demand. The US Fed decision to remain interest rates unchanged this month account for such a dynamic of the pound dollar pair. On the early European session, the British pound rose against the US dollar to the level of 1.5629, hitting an intraday high. Later, the pay gained 0.11% and secured its position at the 1.568. The US dollar plunged after the US Federal Reserve had announced its decision on the monetary policy on Thursday. However, the downward base was limited as the US Central Bank does not rule out a scenario of an interest rate hike later this year. Commenting on the statement, U.S. Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen noted that global economic development played the crucial role in the regulator's decision. The Federal Reserve had confirmed that making a decision on raising interest rates, the regulator was to see evidence of further improvement on the labor market and to be more confident that consumer inflation is growing at a faster pace. The pound sterling strengthened after the UK retail sales report had been released on Thursday. According to the Office of National Statistics, retail sales in Great Britain grew 0.2% in August in line with expectations. In annual terms, retail sales volume increased 3.7%, which is slightly lower than the flash estimate. Currency strategists foresee that the US dollar plunged will hardly make it possible to break the level of 1.56 as market participants are spreading rumors that the Bank of England could be delay the key interest rate hike in light of the US Fed decision. Today, the British pound is trading almost flat against the single European currency. The pound euro pay is trading at 0 0.732. The economic calendar lacks important events on Friday, so the pound sterling depends on developments in stock markets, commodity markets and bond yield. You have watched Financial News on the Staphorex TV channel. See you!